What's good, future millionaires? We back with another banger. I'm December DeMarco, Fortune 500 marketer, and I'm here to share my insights of the market with y'all to hopefully help y'all become better informed investors, man. Salute to everybody for rocking with me. I appreciate y'all for pulling up. Join the private investment community, private stock market game on Facebook. Follow me on Twitter at December DeMarco, as well as on Instagram at December DeMarco. Make sure y'all get over there ASAP. I will be doing some live streams exclusively over there as well for the people that are not channel members. You know, if you want to be... Uh, getting some of this exclusive content make sure you become a channel member but uh i did a live stream earlier today my phone died so shout out to everybody that pulled up on me on that one it was actually pretty lit on that stream but uh y'all know i was in a car so i didn't have a way to charge my phone real quick it was actually on a little janky charger that doesn't sufficiently keep the phone charged so it died on me but we back though so uh right now you know the price is looking good we called this breakout if y'all been following along the channel congratulations to y'all that are listening to these videos and not just you know letting it go through one year and out the other you know we really trying to make you know millionaires here and you have to you know do your own due diligence but you have to you know really take action you can't just sit on the sidelines and wait until you always see you know, because I, I see a lot of people that, that, do, that do this exactly right here. This might be some of y'all. You know, y'all are hesitant when the dip is dipping because you're afraid that it's going to keep dropping. And then you're just saying, like, I was just going to buy it. But then now the price shoots up and now it's higher than where it was when it dipped. And now you don't want to buy in. I know a lot of people that tell me that that happens to them. And the reason why is because they're not using their indicators, you know, to determine when the price is at key buying uh, levels. So whether that's your Fibonacci retracement tool or whether that's your Bollinger Bands, your RSI, your MACD, or those tools in a combination together, your PPO, uh, you know, and a, a ton of other, you know, tools that if y'all are inside the course, y'all are learning to use as well. But you got to put this stuff together and actually do it. You can't just say, you know, that looks like a good time to buy. Test it out at a small level. If you're not confident yet, you know, try it out with the with only a few bucks that you, with a few bucks that you're willing to lose so that way it doesn't become something emotional to you you know if it's only you know five dollars that you can risk you know losing until you understand the concept then get do that get some skin in the game the sooner you start to put money in the game the faster you will learn because your real money is at stake once you start to put money in that's when you it, things will be begin to click because you're not going to like to lose your real hard earned money it's going to make you turn it up a notch it, it might be a little unclear uh you know because I'm not fully breaking it down, but, you know, the more, you know, uh, the more something costs, the more value, you know, uh, you attach to it and you'll take it more serious. So, you know, you just want to put some money on the table so that way it's not something that you're just, you know, kind of forgetting about. You're actually able to track it because you're seeing, you know, I know I put this much in and it, it grew this percentage or it decreased this percentage. You know, you want to take notes. Also, y'all can get my six figure financial planner it's my six figure uh basically a trading journal that i keep you know and mark trades in basically to know you know what trades i made you know to be able to go back and learn from trades to see you know how i did on those trades what mindset was i in when i was making a trade you know where did i take profit at i have this journal available so email me if you would like to get my six figure planner this is this uh planner is only 50 bucks right now so you can email me get it asap on cash app or paypal reach out to me asap if y'all want that so uh price is at that 47 16 level right now holding nicely looks like we might be forming a nice little cup right here so i called this breakout last time we had a a, a smaller cup forming which we got that breakout that got us to here which we we still have a lot of room to go i, I told y'all i see us going to those high fives we just got the news of the crack and exchange listing uh we got, you know, our AAA gaming studio. We got uh, Mr. Volk working with us on, you know, the Shiba Inu Metaverse game. This is a lot of big catalysts to come. And whales are secretly buying up this dip. They're letting, they're running the price down, shaking people out of their positions, and then scooping it up for the low. So I'm trying to tell y'all what's happening because we're going to eventually see new all-time highs and y'all are going to be scratching your head not everybody but the ones that didn't you know listen to this information are going to be scratching their head heads wondering how did the price sneak back up like that i'm telling y'all they were already manipulating it pushing the price down so they can come get in cheaper because they just seen what happened so we already been loading up shout out to y'all reaching out to the channel but we've been loading up on these dips and you know it's gonna pay off it's already been paying off y'all that y'all that been following me for the last what you know, people in my uh, private investment community over a year, y'all on YouTube, you know, for the last, you know, five months, 
uh, and others for, you know, even longer than that, depending on where you tapped in with me first. But, you know, if you all have been taking this advice to catch these dips, every single one of y'all are in profit. There's not one person that been buying these dips throughout this time that is down on their money in Shiba Inu. So I told you, all this is a five year plus investment for me. One that possibly that can go to 10 years. You know, I'm looking at this as possibly even a retirement play because, I, you know, let's think about it. If we hit one cent one day. Imagine if it hits one cent, that's not the cap. You know, it'll eventually even go higher. So, you know, I'm thinking about just taking, you know, profit at, you know, uh, key areas along the way, you know, especially after that one cent mark. Now, I have several different bags to be able to, you know, take a little profit from, you know, if I want to, you know, along this way. But right now, you know, I'm just diamond handed because I already know we we going past where we're at right now. So continue to load up. You know, uh, everything is looking nicely right here. We got uh, resistance right at this 47.37 level as well as the 49s which is a psychological barrier because it's that next whole number to 50 range right there you know remember i told you anytime we hit that you know a 45 a 50 or a 55 a 60 65 70 those are key areas where people's brain will basically uh you know have a barrier that you know it's going to be hard for us to break through so you'll see traders day traders take profits at those key areas as well as you know just regular investors that you know might not think that the price will break through so uh those are key areas that you'll see you know that i you know if you're one of the people that want to take profit i don't blame you you know that is a good area to take profit you know just psychologically knowing that but you know I already know that, you know, we'll be past these areas. So what's the point for me? Because I only put in what I'm willing to lose. So I can just let this ride. So uh, I'm still seeing us hit that uh, the higher fives, possibly that 50, just exactly probably that uh, around that 55, 65 level. It's looking a little stronger at the 56 as a resistance. If you notice right here, this area in the chart is what I'm looking at. Let me put a, a resistance line up there for y'all. So we're seeing some resistance right at that area. Notice this wick wants to wick and push up here. This is another sign that the wick is wicking, pointing in this direction that it wants to. It's showing that the price wants to most likely move back up into this range as well. So I'm pretty sure, you know, it, it will do that. They might try to fake us down to the bottom again and we might find some support. It's looking like at that 43 range. Just about the, it could be 4287 or just about that 43 range. I see us possibly finding support there. If they try to push us to the downside, buyers will step back in and push it right back up. Because notice this candle right here. This is an important candle. You notice this is the candle that's responsible for cha changing the direction of the trend. So this would be, you know, just eyeballing it, a demand area where we could see that there's a strong demand to to buy it up in this price. So most likely smart money will protect its own money. So if we do see it dip back into this range, smart money will step in again and push the price up even higher. So y'all can wait till you know, it possibly comes pulls back to this area or you can just get in right here if you're a patient investor and you don't mind diamond handing throughout the way. Remember, time in the market beats timing the market you know that's what warren buffett said so i want y'all to continuously remember that because he didn't tell us that for no reason so uh that's all we got for this video you know i think still uh we got some exciting things to happen we're right at that end of the year mark normally things get really crazy towards the end of the year or in january right in the beginning you know we start to see you know uh the market's doing really well especially uh early in that first quarter so uh i'm hoping that you know that's what we see with sheep as well i'm just buying it up y'all i'm just loading up so that's all we got for this video appreciate y'all for pulling up and we are out